Hello and welcome back to another Uncle Tat's Creative Shack video. What we have here is another hobby interest of mine besides Lego, and that is uh, Bandai and their uh, one 144th scale uh, mobile suit figures, or they have different mobile suit figures. Uh, this particular um, robot is from the uh, their 30 Minutes Missions set or line of sets. Um, and it's has no real uh, necessarily set scale in real life it could be uh, one to one scale it could be one to 144 scale there's really no set scale that it is but it is definitely a kit that has you know uh, several several dozen pieces to put together it also has some options um, for you to look at um, so straight out of the box this is how it is there's i didn't do any painting i just did a little bit of um, black washing here and there to uh, highlight some of the uh, pieces like in the legs and uh, the shoulders and the arms just a little bit of a black wash there you'll notice that there is a number four on his thigh as well as on the shoulder um, this particular set comes with a set of stickers and they're actually really good they're clear back stickers so when they go on you really don't notice um, where where they've been put on especially on lighter plastic on darker plastic you can probably see the outlines of the stickers and in that case you're going to want to use uh, like a water slide uh, decals but anyway straight out of the box here he is with his two weapons I also picked up the option weapon set uh, for this kit and we'll go ahead and look at that here in a minute too so go ahead and take it off the stand for you stand is not included so I'll just try to ah, there we go okay so for articulation he's got a pretty decent head can go back pretty far can go forward pretty far you know he's got uh, range of motion in the arms only to about there, strangely enough, but he does have nice bend in the elbow to get right up to about 90 degrees, well, a little bit less than 90 degree maybe. Waist articulation all the way around. A uh, little bit, a little bit of ab crunch, but not too terribly much. His other arm here, articulation to there back down again I can spin it back and spin it forward and of course oops shoulder pieces I find are a little bit weak as far as their connection is concerned but once they're in place they're good to go I did do a little black washing here just to show some of the vent detail it's much easier to show vent detail uh, when you've got a wash in involved Here's that sticker on the, the leg. I just chose the number four. I didn't really pick, uh, you know, I wasn't really going to get too crazy about it. There's a lot of detail on this uh, small uh, mech. So to try to get multiple stickers on here would be kind of not very easy. Um, I do have a large selection of water slides that I'll probably go ahead and use for, like, caution markings and, and other things as I, you know, uh, work on this one some more. But for right now... This is pretty much him. He's got good. I'm going to take this thing off his back. We'll look at that in a minute. And there's his knee bend, which is really good. You can see how the armor moves here. Right there on the knee. It stays with it. There we go. Um, feet have an interesting connection. It's a ball that can be rotated side to side. There's also an ankle guard right here that has swiveling capabilities just to pose it. Bottom of the feet have fairly good detail. There's a kind of a gap right there, but you know, not too noticeable. If you put a black wash in here, you won't notice the bottom of the feet. Uh, side to side. There's a pretty good range of motion there as well. And this would also benefit from a black wash to bring out some of that detail. Um, just hadn't gotten that far yet, but I would like to do that. He has, oops, there's one of those weapons that comes out of his hands. We'll talk about the weapons. I, I'm on the fence about them a little bit, but 
the side skirt piece can be bent this way and it can be bent back up as well he has a backpack and that's pretty much on there right now okay and there we go so for weapons this is his main pistol let me try to get that in focus there we go uh, perhaps a laser pistol of some sort has a camera here optional camera um, these pieces can all be interchanged and that's when the option weapon set comes into play and we'll take a look at that here in just a minute and then he has this close combat melee style weapon that just slides into that hand not really sure what this does but there is a square hole on the top of that one and in this set um, it doesn't really do much for you in the set but when you get to the option weapon set we'll take a look at that we'll see what happens so in the option weapon set let me get that out here the option weapon set looks like this okay so you get you're basically getting you know everything that you see here the thing that disappointed me the most is that the the main the main gun they give you is exactly the gun that you get uh, with the set so the main let's see here get that out of the way this is one of the guns that you build okay and you have an option for um, this scope on top you can actually just take that right off the front barrel you can just pop that right off this and this option weapon set also gives you this piece to go right back on it that is exactly what you get with the kit uh, the scope yep you also get that too so you can go ahead and put that on let's see let's get that in the right spot there so that's the that's the identical gun that you get with this set so <laughs> optional weapons part set is disappointing in that respect however we'll go ahead and we'll take that apart that that this does come with the kit so it comes with the exact same gun that comes with the kit to begin with but then you have this scope which is different and you have oops pull that off and I'm going to put this on. Oh, yeah, like this. Okay, there we go. And then you have that front barrel. So that's... Let me get my fingers out of the way. So that's one option. The next option is using this barrel. I'll just go on. Oops. That actually goes on like that. So that's all different as well, which looks really cool. You also have a side handle here. The scope, which you could still interchange that scope for the other one, if you like that look better. Personally, I like I like the long range scope. Okay. You also get now. I mentioned that hand piece has a square peg. You get another one of those hand pieces right here. This is very just like the one that comes in the kit. You get another one. And the square peg, let's see, there's a square hole. This blade has a square peg. You match them up. And there you go. You got a long dagger, which actually makes sense. The As it comes in the kit, it's just this. That doesn't make sense. It's like, well, what is that? I, I don't understand. But then when you get the option weapon set, you also get the long blade. Okay. Also... If we can continue, you get this X piece, which can be put in the same handle. And that's pretty cool. It's made up of a small piece here, the axe head in the front, and then the, the actual handle in the back. Uh, another optional weapon is this uh, spear. And again, you can pull the pieces apart. So here's just that head pulled apart from this assembly. And you also get this is a different weapon 
uh, piece that you could just go ahead and put this blade into and if you look at it like that it actually has a ball joint which would go directly into the hand or where the hand would be on the robot so we'll take that out and now this let's see I think it probably goes like that and there so now you just replace the whole hand all together with a dagger for some close combat slashing options so that's the optional weapon set the sticker sheet that you get with the the main um, robot kit is basically this they're already cut for you I was a little um, uh, skeptical about that at first I wasn't sure if they were indiv individually cut or you had to cut them yourself but they are all individually cut and you get them in black and white uh, I got this set from both of these uh, kits I ordered from USA Gundam store and here's a new sticker that they put in the box for you USA Gundam store with this nice like robot uh, um, custom figure that they made that's a really cool sticker thanks guys and then finally you get this thing uh, the directions call this thing Roy Roy I have no idea what it is I'm guessing it's his personal pal or maybe it's like a drone that he can shoot off or something but if you see his back here he's got many places for hard points and there's one right here in his hip you would plug Roy Roy into his back when he's not being used and then if your um, your uh, mobile suit or your, your robot here needs to have a scout Roy Roy can take off and act as a scout also which they give you an idea of doing is you can pull the head off okay there's the head and then take the Roy Roy head and try to get him off of his legs there if you wanted to have a different style head personally that's to me that's creepy as hell and I don't like it at all but it is an option if you wanted to but yeah to me for some reason that squished flat head looks really creepy I totally like that head much better so in conclusion this is not a bad set I think both of them um, the uh, 30 minute missions also which is right here between this set and the option weapon set which is right here let me zoom out I think uh, all told uh, let's get this to get my camera to zoom out there we go oops yeah, all told for these two sets, I think was like $18, $18, so it's not a lot of money. There we go. Not a lot of money, but you do have some neat options. Personally, I think these robots look like the ones in the movie Chappie, so I might actually paint mine up a little bit more, maybe perhaps a different color over here to suggest that the robot had been fixed. Maybe have like a blue piece for a leg over here or a red red piece or something like this. So I might actually do that with mine. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of a nice nice little one day build pretty much. I did all this today. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty neat looking build. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.